So this will be about Jack Texera, the Air National Guardsman, 21 years old, IT tech, who posted top secret documents online to impress his friends. Hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. By the way, Trump did kind of the same thing. Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So yeah, the kid wanted to impress other kids, and so that's what he did. He recorded uh, or uh, photocopied or took a picture on his phone of top secret documents that he shouldn't have, and then he posted them online to impress his buddies. Well, it's about the same mentality as Donald Trump. They're going to uh, convict this guy or try this guy or judge this guy under the Espionage Act, and uh, Trump did the same thing. He took documents to impress people, and but probably to make money too. So... We'll draw cards on all of that. This is going to be mostly about Jack Texera, the 21-year-old Air National Guardsman who put classified documents online. But it's also going to be about Donald Trump, who, with the same mentality, I mean, he's got like a stunted um, mental uh, growth. He's, Trump is like a 15-year-old, I think. So let's see uh, Jack Texera, what, how is this going to affect him? And isn't this the same thing Donald Trump did? We'll draw cards on that too. All right, so here we go. I hesitated there because I'm having a problem with this video lagging behind. Um, and I want to see if I can fix it, but then I just thought better of it and thought, well, let's just plow through the video and get it done. So Jack Texera, so young man, his family has a history of being in the military. He was a tech guy for the Pentagon, and he and because of his position, he had clearance uh, towards top secret information. But then he abused that. Um, uh, privilege uh, to then take those documents and post them online in some secret horrible chat room and he's said uh, terrible uh, anti-semitic and MAGA leaning things in his uh, other social media apparently and uh, it seems to me that this was just someone who I really feel like our, our, our military failed him he shouldn't have been in that position if he didn't have, we should have known that <clears throat> he didn't have the capacity to not uh, divulge secrets. And he shouldn't have been in that position, uh, in my opinion. But we'll draw some cards to see how this will come out for him. And it's interesting that this broken heart keeps coming up on top here. And then uh, just a quick, I don't know, something to say, why is this kid getting um, so quickly uh, prosecuted when it took years for Trump to even begin to be held to accountability for something so very similar. So that's 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 what I want to talk about. Before we do all of that, we'll take just a moment for some meditation. Yeah, it didn't take them long to track this kid down. And they knew where the documents were for Trump the whole time. So why did it take so long to uh, bring him to accountability? Look at that. That broken heart still wants to show up. So let's do some cards on um, Jack Texera. And then I'm going to do six cards on Jack Texera. And then six cards on uh, Trump to see if he'll be brought to accountability also. So one, two, three four and by the way if you like these cards you know i'll talk about them uh, at the end of the video so you can find out more about them and see more of them um because that's what i do <clears throat> jack texera signifier card for this kid who wanted to show off 
king of wands so he was the king of action he had the action he had the capability of doing uh what he wanted to do and he did it it's challenged by what uh, it's challenged by the wheel of fortune it was just a matter of time and he knew it until he got caught why did he think that he could get away with it the base of this whole thing is partnerships so this is oath taking right here so the base of this is that he had a partnership and responsibility towards an oath that he took not to divulge these secrets but it didn't mean anything to him just like it didn't mean anything to trump the past of this is strength so he showed the strength he showed the wherewithal to have this position but that was in the past and somehow that slipped away from him in the sky this reading is was enough done you know, you could take this to be uh, Jack, but I take it to be our government. Did they do enough to protect our secrets or, or to make sure that the people who had access to them were able to uh, keep those secrets? And no, they didn't in Jack's case, nor in Trump's case. And then the final outcome is all of these issues are going to be coming down hard on Jack Texera. Let's draw one more card to see how this will end up for Jack. Okay, there may be some compassion there. There could be maybe a less long sentence than what he may have expected. So that's what we get on Jack. Now let's talk about Trump. So isn't this so very similar to what Trump did, except Trump took his uh, adult, um, adolescent mind all the way to the White House and we trusted him with those secrets and then he took them home because he wanted to he wanted to show them to his friends and his associates and then he wanted to profit off of them uh, it's the same thing the only thing we don't know is that if Jack expected he would profit off of them and I think he was just looking for for admiration among his friends which was you gotta admit that's probably the first thing Trump was looking for so will Trump be held to some sort of similar accountability ability is this uh, bringing this to the um, attention of the Department of Justice. I need to count these one, two, three, four, five, need one more, uh, in a, a more real way. I mean, I just don't see that there's much difference in the two things that happened here. Trump, will he be brought to accountability for doing the same thing Jack Texera did? Long-term planning. This is going to be a slow, long process. If it, if it works out that way, the challenge to it is deciding which way to go with the truth and the justice. The basis of it is that, of course, it was a, an abuse of power. It was thievery. It was theft of the secrets. In the past, was moving out of troubled water. It's too late for that now. Trump thought he was moving out of troubled water, but that's gone. That's over with now. In the sky of this, and this is the government figuring out how to balance, do this balancing act. And then the final outcome for Trump is a partnership. Lovers, no. Our government is going to make a partnership with him and protect him somehow. And then the final outcome for this for Trump is a hanged man. So I like to think that this means he will get some punishment. He will be a hanged man, but uh, it will be much uh, softer landing than uh, spies have gotten in the past don't like it well i hope you agree with how the cards came out if you didn't let me know and let me know what you'd like me to read on and i'll read on that yeah i'm going to show you the cards now okay so this is the newest deck i've got this is the radiant wise spirit tarot um it's just another take on uh from los carbio on um the uh, the classic uh, rider weight tarot but uh, apparently this person wise has had their input into it and uh, the, what i love about it first of all it's got a great container I always feel like what I think of when I open these containers is if I got this as a gift, what would I think about it? And I think, well, this is very nice. When you get into the box, I mean, it gives you a hint right from the beginning what you're going to see. It's a close-up of the cards in kind of rich color with kind of a, a tinged uh, overtone to kind of give it an antique look, in my opinion. Anyway, the cards themselves, I'll go over, but I want to tell you first about the instruction booklet. And you know, it's a typical instruction booklet that you get with any of these decks it's in a few different languages. And it just gives you some basic uh, uh, meanings of how to divide the cards. But what's good about it and is that it gives you a really terrific uh, synopsis of uh, how uh, this uh, uh, rider weight uh, system was developed and when and by who. It talks a, a little enough about author weight and Pamela Coleman Smith who were the creators of this and the Kabbalistic theory and history of all of that. 
Um, it is, uh, gives you a real quick mention about the Golden Dawn, which is very significant to the development of these cards. And then it gives you a really great little section about, about how to read the tarot and storytelling through the, the cards. So I like the little book. I mean, it's nothing earth shattering. It's not information that most people don't know, but it is uh, interesting. Now, the cards themselves, they got a cool back, they're kind of shiny, and um, you're going to see that kind of what they are is like they've kind of made a close-up of the typical tarot uh, images and then colored them in very vibrantly and then oversprayed the whole thing with sort of an antique kind of a, a feel. So they're great for me. I've got a few uh, vision problems, and so in that they're close up, but they're still vibrant with color. And I think these are going to look great on the camera. Uh, I like to uh, spread the cards out like this for a couple of reasons. One is it's a good way to show you uh, more than a couple of cards that you get to see in a typical tarot drawing. And that's something that I always wanted to see. I wanted to know more about what the cards I was looking at before I was making the videos. And number two, it's a good way to um, shuffle the cards up without damaging them too much. And if you're reading for someone else, then there's a third uh, benefit, is that you can let someone else do this kind of spread around if they're not comfortable with making a shuffle. or, or And then you kind of get their energy into the cards. So this is the uh, Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot. And I just like them a lot. So this will be my newest deck. Well, coming back tomorrow, I'll be doing it all again. So ciao for now.